Hi everyone and uh, welcome back to the Dynamic 365 integration series using SSIS and Kingsway Soft. So this is episode 2 and today's session is packed and practical demos and pro level insights. So by end of the episode you will be able to extract data from Dataverse using SSIS, understand what Dataverse is and why saving data there is powerful. Use tool like XRM toolbox and SQL for CDS to view and explore Dataverse. And also we have discussed filter dynamic data with fetch XML. So this is our today agenda. What is Dataverse and why use it? Then we discussing on uh, displaying Dataverse data through SQL for CDS and uh, using XRM toolbox. Ex then extract data from Kingsway soft in SSIS and uh, this extracted data we have exported to CSV. And also uh, we go through with the different filters like filter with fetch XML. And at the end we have summarize all the things and discussing what uh, next episode are so let's get started so many people hear about dataverse and think it is a just another database but let me simplify it dataverse is a cloud-based data platform behind dynamic 365 and power platform why is, is it useful it provides secure scalable and structured storage then it is support business rules relationship and rich metadata third uh, advanced is the, like directly integrate with the power apps power app automate and uh, dynamic 365 apps so it is allow us to apply roles access controls and track changes so when you save data in Dataverse, it become available for automation, analytics, reporting, and even AI co-pilot use cases. Next thing, how to display and explore data in Dataverse. So let's quickly check how you can view and query Dataverse data using XRM toolbox. So this is our XRM toolbox. Okay. So let me show you a secret weapon for Dataverse developer SQL for CDS in XRM toolbox. So for that, uh, you can. This is your start page where with the welcome to XRM toolbox. And it is available on online. So just go to your Google and here type is XRM toolbox download. So this is a third party tool. So you can download the latest version and uh, you can connect with your Dynamic 365 connection or your data was things so after download now uh, this window is open okay and uh, here we have con connect with dynamic 365 environment so first of uh, important thing is uh, this tool is important sql for cds and uh, in our case it is uh, already installed but if it is not uh, showing in your tools so just go in tool library here you have type sql for cds okay so this is you have uh, getting and uh, here in install button is pop up so you just click on install and after successful completion of uh, installation you just uh, double click here and then you create a new connection so 
there are uh, multiple option is there through connection wizard you can do through microsoft login certificate connection string uh, authentication if uh, and uh, last one is client id and secrets so based on that you can uh, create your connection so I have connected with uh, our dev server. Okay. So if I'm going to explore this thing, so this is our all the entities. Our tables are there. Okay. And same thing here, we have just select a star from. Sorry. Select a star from contact. So we have getting all the data related to that. So you get the data instance instantly, just like querying SQL Server, but it is actually coming from Dataverse. So this is awesome. Testing your fetch XML option is there. Okay. So here you have, uh, if I'm going to explore the entities, so there are already uh, main entities are available like uh, audit table is there contact is there uh, customer related information is there user table is there okay so this tool help you uh, helps you verify what data what's in data was before and after ssis run so why this uh, matter for SSIS? When we use Kingsway soft in SSIS, we are not just pulling CRM data. We are extracting from Dataverse. And because uh, Dataverse is a API driven, uh, Kingsway soft help us interact with it efficiently and securely. So let's now jump into our SSIS project and build our first data extraction pipeline. So open our Visual Studio. Okay. And uh, here we have added a data flow task. And uh, I can rename it. contact underscore extraction okay double click here so inside data flow <coughs> there is a, a sources of label cds source is there cds destination is there you can also use the dynamic crm source and uh, dynamic CRM destination for uh, your purpose because we have extracting data so we have using the source so here I have configured a CDS source if I'm going to their uh, connection in strings here like this is our uh, web API there are two options is there web API dynamic 365 data verse CRM 2016 online and or on premises and SOAP 2011. So we can uh, in our uh, future videos we have more discussion on that. And uh, here authentication type what we using. Authentication uh, type after authentication type. This is our authorization server login microsoftonline.com. And in uh, your case you just uh, put your <coughs> URL uh, what uh, companies provided like uh, uh, we have getting this URL from our power platform uh, power app okay so this is our admin they, this is a, our environment URL okay so based on that we can connect with our environment
so after <coughs> connecting successful okay so in our case i have provided a username here so after successful configuration we have getting our uh, crm connection so this is our connection manager uh, it's called our connection string okay so we have using this connection manager now uh, batch size is 2000 uh, so it is a, like a settings uh, for uh, getting the result sets from our sources here uh, we have a multiple option is there there is option is entity fetch xml entity changes audit log metadata so in future video we have discussed one by one so today we have more focus on only entity so our source entity is contact because we have getting data from the contact <coughs> sorry i can log in first so i have using the If you are stuck in anywhere, so you just ping me. Uh, I can provide steps also, like how we configure uh, our CRM portal and all. <clears throat> so after that, we have select our entity. So we have using your contact entity. And uh, there we have getting all the column list so we have required only some column list so i can uncheck all we have required on account id okay and uh, next is our first name you can search here also like uh, last name okay so it is easy for us and email address okay so this is connected successfully so because uh, we load this data into a flat file so we have uh, getting a flat file destination okay so there is uh, our flat file destination so just connect here now configure a new file dot csv okay so it is connected here then we going to our commas okay advanced so account id so these are the mapping is completed okay now we execute our package okay. sorry for that because this is a test login so i have multiple time we have getting the authentications yeah. okay so now let's so if i'm click on contact so here we have getting all the things like our name first name last name okay in case of null so uh, there are some modification also required one second i can do same thing. column names in a first data row okay and delimiter so if you want uh, advanced control like filtering record or joining related table so use fetch xml also i can show that part also one second what is the error I can show you one second so if work uh, this is a source type okay 
if we require some fetch XML, so it is automatically we have getting, but sometimes we have uh, some query things. Okay, so we just going through with our first name, comma, last name. comma email address one okay so we required only these three columns so I can go here just paste and convert it into XML form sure this is a column what we have getting <coughs> I can delete the unmap things because prior we have a multiple columns here. So uh, because sometimes we have getting requirement like uh, we have joined some tables. Uh, it means like uh, we have joined with uh, our customer table with account table and uh, this type of uh, scenario is there like uh, we have required data from the department and uh, it is a uh, join with any other table so we just paste our query and uh, what are the required column is there and based on that we have getting our fetched xml form and uh, these uh, xml things you can use in a kingsway soft by checking use fetch, uh, fetch xml in source component okay and then i will execute same thing Okay, I will find some solution for that so for the uh, testing purpose we have using this account okay so you can also uh, use this thing and check the data okay so we successfully load uh, we in next video uh, we can more transformation things that we have apply here also so let's summarize what we covered today. So these are things we have follow. Okay. So what is Dataverse and why it is uh, worth saving data there? How to query Dataverse like SQL using SQL for CDS? How to extract data that uh, uh, data in SSIS with Kingsway Soft? And how to filter result using fetch XMLs and uh, also go through with the uh, export to flat files for downstream users so if you have any question so you can uh, comment uh, you can put your uh, messages in my comment and uh, in episode in next episode we will take it one step further like apply transformation in SSIS here we have a clean and enriched data before loading to SQL server and also go through with some business logic using SSIS expression because we know that like uh, while we uh, data migration from our uh, uh, on-premises to our CRM site so multiple things are there sometimes we have required cleaning operations we remove the null things so this type of transformation we can explore here okay so if you found this helpful then subscribe share this with your team comment your doubts i answer all of them thank you for watching and see you in next episode and if you have any uh, specific topic so you just uh, comment here i can try to explore that part also thank you